Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia Lee, and as you probably already know by now, Stardew Valley just came out with a 1.6 update. I have actually not played Stardew Valley in quite some time. I got really attached to an old save file, but I kind of didn't know what I was doing with it, and uh, so I thought I would just start fresh. I am unfamiliar with like a bunch of stuff. I played a ton when this game first came out, but I haven't seen almost anything about any of the updates. So there are going to be quite a few surprises for me, uh, even in things that like most people have seen. But obviously I'm going to be focusing or trying to focus on the 1.6 update stuff. So... Let's go grab a new farmer. First things absolute first, I'm going to be trying the new layout. I think I've played a couple of these, but I think it was mainly the standard and then the wilderness. I don't know. I don't have videos on any of these, so it's fine. We are going to just try the new, the newest 1.6. Uh, Meadowlands Farm. All right, after much deliberation, here is my character. Um, I've decided my farmer's name is going to be Hyacinth. The farm name is Azure Acres, and the favorite thing is chocolates, mostly because it's always a taste. Whatever, whatever you put your favorite thing in there, it, it always is the taste of what star drops taste like to you. So, you know, it's a little less weird putting a food item in there. Anyway, um, so we've got our new Meadowlands farm and I guess let's just hop in. Dear Hyacinth, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connection with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy Azure Acres Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I'm sure everyone has seen this intro one billion times by now, but just in case. <laughs> this part's so cute. Hello, you must be Hyacinth. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. <laughs> the little sound effect of her walking is so funny. This is Azure Acres Farm. 
Uh-oh. Well, it looks real bad. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath all that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, uh, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day someone new moves in, and it's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very... rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Hyacinth. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. And I will. And I will. I don't know how Grandfather lived like this. I think he went to the pub every single night because he doesn't have a kitchen. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Oh! Wow, that, the house looks nice in this one. Oh, nope. Okay. Alright, so this house style is maybe new-ish? I feel like... A couple of the other farm types had a similar one, but this one's really cute starting off. It's a, a little less crusty than the default one that uh, Robin was supposed to be describing. Um, but starting off, I've already wasted like an hour talking. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting. I, I haven't played Stardew in a while, so it's nearly 7 a.m. already. Let's look at the introductions in the journal. Gotta greet all the people. Uh, everybody knows this part, right? Okay. Gonna check the uh, weather. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. Excellent. Fortune teller. Good humor spirits. Very nice. And living off the land. Anything new? No, just just the standard. I think we're gonna have to wait for a little while for anything new. And we've got it. Oh! Oh, I forgot! Okay, this is actually kind of different. Because this is the new farm, I already have a coop. So this is gonna be easier. Okay. So it says, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they mature, harvest an egg. Yay! Okay, so let's actually go check out the farm layout because this is new. It's interesting. It doesn't look... Oh, wow! This is already all fenced in. Okay. So it doesn't look that different from the default, except for, like, well, I can't be, I can't be sure until I explore the whole thing, and that's going to be difficult with this. But it's nice that there's this whole little coop area. Ooh, there's a little bit of water up here. Okay. And then I actually didn't expect that the blue grass and the regular grass were going to be different. Um, it makes sense that they're 
there's both types, but I just thought it was going to be like an aesthetic change everywhere where everything was blue. Um, hence my naming convention, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I wonder if I harvest this if it gives me a different kind of wheat, like hay. I don't think so. Okay, this is huge. And not too much farmland, which is probably ideal, honestly. Okay. But yeah, I guess we didn't get any seeds for, uh, for our first gift. We used to get the parsnips, but this one... Wait. I'm still getting used to this. Okay. So let's go check on our chickens. Oh, yeah, babies. Uh, I don't want to give it anything, but I don't want to hurt it. I want to pet it. Okay. <laughs> I'm zero confidence in myself to remember which button is which. Okay. Those are adorable. I guess let's just start clearing out the farm. Also, is the implication with this farm set up that our grandfather left his chickens here? Because um, it's been like a number of years. Or was the coop here... And then the townsfolk decided it would be nice of them to give us two free chickens. Because they heard I was moving. Food for thought, I suppose. Alright, that section's done. We will let our little tiny chicks out. I think this is safe. This is all fun thin. Yeah. So they'll do their own thing for the day. I really like this farm layout. It it's again not gonna be like super ideal for big batch farming stuff, but I'm okay with that. Uh, this is definitely interesting. Oh, it looks like this is not... You can't explore much of this. I was <laughs> I was like, ooh, we can go, like, what's up there and stuff, but... Well, I guess I can chop this tree down. I don't really want to. But I think I'm supposed to? Because that looks like a staircase there, so... Uh, before I waste all my energy for the night... Oh no, I don't have any magnet rings, so I can't even get this. That is tragic, actually. But okay. I've discovered a secret here immediately. And this is the warp area, I think, isn't it? Alright. Oh, this is so sad. My sap! Oh, my wood! <laughs> it's just gonna rot there. Okay. Um, I don't want to be wasting all of my energy. Oh, this is such a nice little place. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is where the cat and dog and whatever animals you decide to get area is. And then this, oddly, is where your spouse stuff goes. So it's kind of, they kind of get their own zone once you get married. That's cute. <laughs> I guess. Um, all right. Boop. Okay, maybe I should work on a, clearing a little actual farmland. Oh, 
Oh, and that's also interesting. Hmm. I don't know where the water is on this layout. So I, I'm going to be pretty confused or it's going to be pretty inconvenient for me to refill my, God, where would it be? Ooh, mystery. I think that's the mushroom cave actually. But all right, we've got, we've got water down here. I will actually need wells, I think, which might have been part of the purpose of this. Like it, that feels really inconvenient. I guess it, it'll feel more convenient once I've cleared the area and I've gotten used to the controls again. But, um... Oh my god, I even- I forgot about this feature. Hold on. <laughs> I feel extra dumb right now. Or do you have to wait until you have a silo to do this? I go like this. Ah, silo required. Okay. And I close that up, and it's 7 p.m. So let's get out of here and explore the valley, which I don't think has changed. <laughs> that would be wild if new farm types like restructured the valley, but that is not the case, thankfully. So I am walking way too slowly. I should have bought seeds. <laughs> Realizing that a little too late. Okay, let's go into the star drop. Hello, Pam. Let me try to sound like a smoker. Hey, kid. <laughs> That's just a deep voice. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. I can't do it. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. Let's just check a few people off the list. Oh, yeah. Try to finish the conversation. Some people, you gotta click on them twice. Say hello to Clint. What? And Shane. I want to joke that he's so rude, but honestly, if a stranger started talking to me randomly, I would also be like, why? So, fair enough. Alright, let's rummage through trash before the night's up. Oh, my inventory's... <laughs> we have not had a super productive first day, I don't think. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure everyone else has gone home, so let's do the same. Uh, plant these sad little seeds I have in my inventory, and we will uh, try to get more done tomorrow. I cannot wait to get a glow ring. That is going to make life a lot easier. And I know this is a horrible layout right now. It's not even centered. Oh, oof bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's a little decorative item. I don't think I like these. Maybe maybe they're okay. Hmm. Oh, and does this this has storage for outfits? Yay. Okay forgot about that because I didn't play with that very much. Um, eh. well, let's just go to sleep and try to do a little more tomorrow. It is Tuesday, which means we can actually go to Pierre's 
which is excellent. <laughs> and uh, Pierre is immediately advertising to us, so that's fine. And Willie has sent a letter. Wonderful. Oh gosh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that today as well, I guess. Okay. Quickly get those done. I'm actually wondering how much it costs to get a silo. I think it was actually pretty, like, affordable from Robin, so maybe I should prioritize that if my priority on this farm is supposed to be animals rather than farm farming let's go see and we'll be able to greet some more people along the way maybe pick up the forgeable or two as well yes Yoink. Nice, okay. I can become friends with George right away. Oh, it's still early. Okay, well, let's forage around the, the joint. Can't. <laughs> um, not quite going to plan, I'll admit to you right now. Oh, here. Let's talk to Linus. He's the... a stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Uh, would you like this? That's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. You're welcome. You did not help me clear my inventory, but... <laughs> Worth it all the same. Oh, and that is still off limits for us. I have not been in the early game in a while. Okay. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, uh, I'm... <laughs> open your doors to the public. <laughs> Why won't you open your doors? Okay. Oh, yeah, and she's not even in here. Come on. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting my timings all wrong. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, she's she's asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. I'm trying to have you... Girl, get up. <laughs> I have to talk to you. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Demetrius. <laughs> I don't know why he would have a posh accent. Uh, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I have like two voices <laughs> when okay, she's getting up immediately moves to town and exhibits stalking behavior. All right. No, no, you're not supposed to go outside. You're supposed to talk to me. Oh God. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I'll do something else right now. I'm trying not to, like, look everything up on the wiki, and, like, I'm trying to just remember. And I'm like, ooh, early silo. I remember that's very important. Can't get that right now, though. I have to figure it out. <laughs> okay. Nothing it posted today. Why was there exclamation mark, then? All right. Let's see, will he buy any of this trash? He will buy a little bit of it. Hmm. Well, I'll definitely sell him the sap just to get it out of my inventory. All right, it is a shame that he won't take any of my garbage because <laughs> I have a lot of it. Um, let's see what we have here. 
Okay, the wallpaper and flooring are not appealing to me today. Ooh, the dehydrator. Is this new? <laughs> I feel so, I genuinely am like, <laughs> I feel elderly playing this video game right now. I'm like, ooh, let me see. <laughs> Is this from 1.6? Or is this from all the other updates I've missed? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. You know what? You really can't go wrong. Well. I was going to say you really can't go wrong with just getting potatoes. But I'm pretty sure we need parsnips. We need cauliflower. And potatoes. If. I remember correctly, but I only have room for one thing. So let's just buy a couple of potato seeds and we will try our best to get everything else later. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Just a couple of those. All right. We cannot afford that bag right now. Let's go see if Robin will talk to me now. <laughs> No, she's over here. Oh, when is she in her shop? I I genuinely don't know like when what everyone's schedules are, which is really frustrating cuz it's like I could just look it up, but I don't want to. Where's the fun in that? I'm trying to remember if something I'm thinking of is a mod or part of the vanilla. That's also my part of my problem right now is like I'm so used to watching people who like they play with mods and they play with, you know, all sorts of stuff. And that's just not that's just not the way it is for me right now. OK, let's try to even this out. So one, two, then one, two. I know. This is very upsetting to me as well. Uh, but these are these are not our starter crops, okay? And they're not going to look very good. And we're just going to have to deal with that. You run it and grab water. Clear a little bit more out as I go. I am so slow at this. I think we are still waiting until day three for the mines to unlock, so I can't even get anything there. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to figure out like what I can do rather than just waste all of my time. <laughs> like I feel like I'm, I'm not minimaxing at all. I am min minning. I am doing the absolute least possible. I like all the trees as well out here, so I think I'm going to try to keep most of them, incorporate them, but I know we need a bunch of wood for a bunch of early game stuff. Again, I was going to try to see. Oh, uh, I've got enough for a chest, so let's make one of those real quick. Ooh, okay, there's new tabs for me. So let's explore here. Inventory, we've got this, which is like kind of new for me. Like this is what, <laughs> I have heart boxers on. This is amazing. I, I love this game. I've got heart boxers on underneath my short shorts. Okay, so this I haven't played with all that much, but I know that is something. Ooh, this has absolutely changed. This is not how it used to look for me. Again, I do not know what is the 1.6 update versus I I played, essentially, I played Stardew 1.0 a ton. Like the base, most base game of this game. When it first came out, I was playing all the time. And then I just kind of got stuck on my farm and I didn't know what to do. And then like updates just kept coming out and I haven't explored any of them. So if I get excited about stuff that's like, oh, that's old news, like 
that's because I'm old. <laughs> no, and it's because I haven't, I really have not played this game in a while. So, yeah, just forgive me because my last playing this game, I played it in like 2016 a ton and then I just stopped. <laughs> so, uh, I am familiar with this part of the page though. You level up. That's fine. This is obviously like where our house is. And then there's some mystery things. This I think is probably counting how many star drops you've had. Something like that. Ooh, okay. And then, yes, okay. <laughs> the gift log is not that this is real. <laughs> I didn't know, I couldn't remember if this was part of a mod or not. This little thing, and then you've got the birthdays, the hearts, and the this. Again, old news. I know I know that much. This this part is old news. But it's good to know. I wish their schedules were somewhere on here. Like that would really help. <laughs> I feel like. Like where but I know that's a bit much information wise. Uh, map doesn't seem to have changed or expanded in any way. Uh, yeah, that's like the peak, I think, that I've been to before. That's the quarry. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Not done here, though. Crafting. Let's grab a chest. Okay. Uh, classic play- oh! Can't put it up there or along here. I feel like I used to do the. Oh, it's because I'm not close enough to put the thing down. What if I'm here? I, okay, I can put it down. I am just dumb. Okay. Listen, guys. Guys, you've got to forgive me. Um. I am trying to think, oh, oh, we've got to get down to the beach, don't we? So, we very much do not have enough wood for this right now. Oh, and I'm trying to shift click, but that, it's doing the opposite. I'm used to Minecraft controls here. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to get enough wood to meet up with Willy and do all that unless I actually just bite the bullet and take one of these trees down, huh? Oh, but I like the trees! They're everywhere and they're so cute! Okay. This area is kind of dense. I will take down you. And I will replant at some point. I'm sure my whole farm will become very samey. Oh no! Oh, I completely forgot there's like this little mod that takes a screenshot of every day your farm. And I wanted to do that and I completely forgot about it until just now. Which, we're on day two. Okay, I haven't done that much though. So, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get that working soon, hopefully. Okay. Let's that's just not enough. Okay, I have to run. I have to go. I gotta meet up with Lily. I don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him, aren't I? Ah, I'm so bad with timing in this game. Everything feels so slow right now, especially because, like, I don't have a horse. I don't have, you know, speed boosts. I need to talk to all of those people, but I have to talk to Willy first. Go, 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 go. I took the path worst traveled. Like, I'm panicking, but Hyacinth here is not running fast enough. Go, no, 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 go, go, go. Okay. Ahoy there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Did I miss him? This means I missed him, huh? 
It's 6 p.m. He's out on the dock already. I'm supposed to meet him inside his shop. Is that what happened here? I don't remember. Yep, of course. <laughs> Guys, things are going great for old Hyacinth here. Uh, we're doing super, super well. And we're not having any trouble getting used to this game again. Got a lost book, though. That's nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been rough. It's been rough so far. I missed him. I didn't get the wood I need to rebuild that bridge. I am just so... I have this trouble in Minecraft, too. I'll be, like, so used to having, like, really good geared-up armor that I'm just constantly dying in a new save because, obviously, <laughs> and that's what this feels like right now. I'm like, if I could simply be doing things correctly right now. <laughs> but, again, it's been years. It's been years and years. 84 of them, it feels like, so let's just try to get... Ooh, you've got some new ideas to sleep on. I don't think I've seen that before. I think that means I leveled up. Like, foraging? That's fun. It, like, gives you a notification now. Again, probably old news. I'm sorry. Everything to me in this game is new. I'm, I'm not just checking out the 1.6 update. I'm checking out the 1.1 through 1.6 updates. Um, I've played like a little bit of, um, of multiplayer since then on the Switch. But 300? That's not the number I remembered. Oh my god. Okay, I don't have nearly enough wood. Goodness gravy. Again, tr the travel through, like, all of these areas has been torturous. <laughs> it is so slow. Painfully slow. And then I run into those news like that. <laughs> Where it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I I thought I remembered the amount I needed. And then I doubted myself right at the end. I was like, oh, actually, isn't it 100? No. Not even close, buddy. Alright. Let's get a path going here. So that I don't have to freak out if I'm late Coming back this way. Oh, I can't wait until I get a glow ring. This is so painful. <laughs> Alright. Not bad, though. Uh, actually, before we go to sleep, let's sell some stuff. I know it's not ideal, but just a couple things. And clay. I know people uh, sell clay for min-maxing. I just got where they used to. Apparently that broke in this update, which is tragic, I guess. But there we go. <sighs> All right. And like I said, yes. We got to level one foraging. We've got axe proficiency, which should help us a little bit. Trees sometimes dropping seeds. Didn't know they weren't doing that. So that's awesome. <laughs> and then we've got the wild seeds and the field snack. And we made a pittance <laughs> of 240 gold. All right, and it is day three of spring now, and that... Ooh, it's rainy. Rainy day today. I'll have my hyacinth here 
continue to be snuggled up in bed for now. Um, that is going to do it for us today. It's going to be the end of my episode. Um, as for schedule, I don't know how often these are going to come out, but I am really excited about this update and about playing Stardew again. So you'll probably see these possibly more than Neopets videos in the coming days, but I am going to try to get back into Neopets posting as well. Um, I think I just got discouraged because the Neopies ended and then there wasn't really anything to look forward to. So if you're here from that and you're watching a Stardew Valley video instead, I really appreciate it. Um, and if you're new, welcome. Um, consider sticking around. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!